Did you want something? Can it go on like this? Did you belong to Romanov's crew? What's that to you? You see a sailor, you suspect they're a pirate. Not all sailors are pirates. There's a hungry lot. But if you want meat, I'll want coin. If you don't have any coin, Master Belcher is handing out stew to the poor. Though you don't look that poor. What's your job here? I guard the slaughterhouse. Not a plum job, but when you decide to switch sides from the Don to the Inquisition, it takes time to earn trust. That's why I'm stuck guarding meat. Although, that's certainly increased in value now the storms have curbed the fishing trade. People are as likely to steal steak as they are artifacts. Have there been many break-ins? Too many. Three houses were robbed recently. And what was done about it? Not much we could do apart from keep an eye on local troublemakers. I am positive Sid is behind it, though. Why do you think Sid was behind the robberies? He considers himself a local leader of sorts. Likes to stir things up. But what makes you so sure it was him? Well, you just have to look at that girlfriend of his and the wealth she flaunts to know it's not coming from an honest source. How do you know, Sid? I was one of the Don's men. It's not something I'm proud of, but he's a charismatic man. He can be very persuasive. Then I realised he doesn't care about the future of this island. He just cares about his own selfish gains. Now, I fight alongside Inquisitor Mendoza. What are you planning to do now? If I can prove Sid was behind the burglaries, maybe I can improve my standing in the Order. But I doubt anyone would talk to me. The Don's men feel betrayed, and the Inquisition are suspicious. So, I need someone who doesn't have my baggage. What about you? It would help this town no end if the burglaries were stopped. I can pay you for your aid. How much will you pay me? How about 150 gold? Okay. I'll investigate the break-ins. Good. Be careful, it won't be easy. Sid's tricky. It's difficult to pin anything on him, even though he always seems to know where items of value can be found. You think he cased the houses in advance? He may be a thief, but he's not a stupid one. He probably sent someone else to scope the houses out. If you can find out who his spy is, that'll be a good start. Whose houses were robbed? Nelson the cartographer, Flavio the fur dealer, and Baxter the bookkeeper. You should talk to each of them. Their statements could be the key to bringing Sid to justice. Where can I find Flavio the fur dealer? Up in the gutters. His house is right next to the Shrine of the Holy Flame. Baxter the bookkeeper. Next to the butcher's shop. He runs the books for the business. Nelson, the cartographer. His place is on the way to the gutters. Just go up the stairs from the harbour. About Sid's spy. Have you talked to everyone who had their houses burgled? Not yet. Well, I think that's your place to start looking for Sid's scout. If you're looking for your cow, you're in the wrong place. Only cows we've got are already cut up, and the pieces belong to the order. Why would I be looking for cows? Farmers come here all the time to find their cows. Where's Daisy? I lost Moo Moo! Bloody nuisance. Why do they think you've got them? They come in saying I've taken them. I don't take them. I slaughter what I'm brought. The order tells me to slaughter cattle, so that's what I do. Mo will tell you the same. Who's Mo? My assistant. He's just doing his job as well. If you're missing your favorite milker, talk to the order. This place seems busy. This slaughterhouse is a gold mine, but all the profits go to the order. All the meat goes out to feed people. Baxter, next door, he does the books. 
Pays me, sends the rest of the order. They do make the operation run smoothly. Can I buy some meat? Buy what you want if you can pay for it. I have meat by the piece and sausage. I'm looking for Baxter. He's in the building next door, in the office. Let's talk business. Too risky. The Naked Monk, a cookbook. I guess I'll make a copy of that. All right there. Who are you? Mo. I work for Dargle, delivering meat. I see. That's a tough job. Yeah, especially as I remove offal, keep the butcher's shop clean, render fat, and fetch cattle. If you don't want anything, can I get on? I've got a lot to do. Dargle told me about the farmers that come here, that they can get a little annoyed. They kick up a mighty fuss too, but what can we do? We have orders to slaughter the cows. I usually try to stay out of it. I'm looking for a couple of skins. You're in luck. Here, you can have them. For free? What's wrong with them? Nothing. You're just taking them off my hands. They're Baxters, aren't they? You took them. And you're giving them to Baxter. So, no trouble needed for anyone. Just a moment. If I take three at 25 plus 18 hams, that's... I can't do this with you staring at me. You're doing the accounts? I keep the books for the butcher's shop. There's a skill. You think calculating's easy? There's not many around here can do it. I can. Really? You want to test me? Yes. What's 14 times 17? Two hundred and thirty-eight. Very good. A man should value the weapons of the mind. About the break-in. What was stolen? What else? Gold, of course. The gold belongs to the Order. Now it's gone. How much gold was taken? All of it. I don't know exactly how much. I was just about to do the accounts when I noticed the theft. Who was in the house on the day of the break-in? Well, Doyle tried to sell me fish, but I don't like fish, so he left. That fat o Vasily brought beer. I paid for that, traded him a few pieces of meat. And of course, Mo was here a few times, but that isn't unusually works here after all. I'm here about the deal with Flavio. Flavio? Tell him I still don't have the goods. Five wolf skins and five boar skins. No more, no less. And I'll only take the complete delivery. You can do calculations. I earned 219 gold coins, but I need to split it between three people. Uh, let me see. That would be 70, 73 each. If it's 219, 219 divided by 3, that's 73. Yes, 73. You know your stuff. Here are the skins Flavio promised. Yeah, let's see. Yes, yes, these look good. Can we do business? We have a deal. I'll take the furs, 
You take the meat. That wasn't it. Oh no. There. Endless lists and columns of numbers. Tell someone who cares. You were seen in a house that was burgled. I deliver beer to a lot of houses. I'm seen everywhere. True enough. I've got nothing more to say to you. About your father? I hear he's a pirate. Well, if you've heard people gossiping, then I guess it must be true. Don't tell me you didn't know. Do I know my father is Captain Gregorius Emmanuel Steelbeard? The most infamous bastard to have sailed the seas round here in a hundred years? I can tell you he was a bastard. The rest of it, I've heard through legend, like you. Were you planning on telling me? I asked you for help with information. I didn't agree to give you any. Okay, okay, I get it. Captain Romanoff is locked up in a cell on the Harbour Quay. So it's true what they're saying. He was arrogant enough to tangle with the Order. Did he tell you anything? Romanov says he doesn't know where your father is. He says he doesn't know. But then he'd still say that even if he left my father headless and castrated in a barrel somewhere. Vasily says your father has a shack here in town. A shack? That's my father. Could afford a palace, but lives in the gutter with the whores and the rats. Still, can you find out where it is? And do it without letting anyone else find it. Could be there's a clue there as to my father's whereabouts, if you can find it. Vasily doesn't think your father's here on the island. Vasily's never had anything useful to say. Romanov doesn't seem very fond of your father. My father tried to run him through and killed Romanov's favorite whore instead. The pair of them never exactly moved in exclusive circles. Can't say I'm too comfortable having that bastard in town. He'd happily see me dead, or worse. And if you're thinking he might give me to his men for the night, you better know he'd happily do the same with you. Well, that's just one more reason to steer clear of Harbour Town. There's plenty of others with gossip. Try them. I spoke to Rodriguez. He thinks you're behind the break-ins. He's trying to frame me. He hates me. Always has for some reason. Rodriguez thinks you're using a spy to check out potential houses. Does he? Do you? Have a spy? What do you think? Who is it? No, of course I don't. Why would I? But if you find a spy, Talk to me before you talk to Rodriguez. Maybe no one needs to get in trouble. I'm sure you've got things to do. What do you want? I don't like you being in here. I 
heard you had a break-in. What was stolen? A ring. A valuable one. I received it from Commandant Carlos personally, in return for a map of the island. Who was here on the day of the break-in? A few people. Mo from the slaughterhouse brought me a delivery of meat. Anyone else? The labourer Doyle sold me fish. And Pavel, one of Flavio's men, he sold me a couple of wolf pelts. I'll find your ring. I would be very grateful. There's plenty of others with gossip. Take that Try pretty them. face somewhere else. I'm looking for Doyle. Doyle? I haven't seen him in a long time. Used to be a good customer of mine. Well, he bought fish from me more than once. That's good in my book. But maybe you could jog my memory, eh? Where is Doyle? I last heard he'd taken quarters with Costa. But since then, he hasn't been seen in the gutters. Maybe he's gone into hiding for some reason. Lots of strange goings on around here. I found someone. Nico will buy your store. What? Is he crazy? Oh well, his craziness, my escape. Thank you for finding him. Here, I found this clam in a fish crate. Might be of use to you. Now you're fish free, what will you do now? I'm going to Patty's. I'll get the gold from Nico on the way, and then I'm going to get very, very drunk. Tell someone who cares. You were seen in one of the houses that was burgled. Actually, I've been in more than one. That doesn't make me a thief, though. We'll see. About the break-in. What was stolen? Ah, uh, my hides. If that hadn't have happened, I would have been able to carry on my business. Oh, I should have listened to my father and gone to sea. That would have saved me a lot of trouble. Who was here on the day of the break-in? Just the usual day labourers who wanted to push their wares off on me. <sighs> like I have any gold left. Anyone else? Ah, uh, Pavel was here the whole day. After all, he works for me. And Vasily wanted to sell me beer from the tavern. And then there was Doyle. He wanted to sell fish, but I sent him away. That was all. I got the meat. Good work. Can you take it to Master Belchor? I've brought you some meat for the needy. Really? Flavio said you could use it. That I can. There are some more refugees driven here by the creatures in the temples, by the Dom. We even have some refugees from other islands. We need help if we are to care for them all. Master Belshaw has the meat. He's handing it out. Wonderful. Here, take these potions. Life here is very dangerous. We all need any help we can get. Well? I'm looking for Doyle. Who? Doyle? I've never seen him round here. He deals in fish. Well, he doesn't work for me. Maybe you should ask Phylus. Ask someone else. Leave me be. <sighs> what is it? You were seen in a house that was burgled. I sell fish door to door. I spend time in people's houses. If you say so. You're the only person seen in all the houses that were broken into, which makes you a prime suspect. Come off it. You can't prove that, mate, and you know it. I can beat a confession out of you. That would be a big mistake, mate. I'll take the chance. Or we skip the beating and you tell me the truth. And if I do, will you help me? 
Or, or will you hang me out to dry? Just tell me. I kissed the houses for Sid. There. Not so hard, was it? But what do I do with this information? If Sid hears I've talked, he'll feed me to the rotworms. And if the Order finds out, they'll send me to the monastery. You've got to keep this quiet. It's better if you disappear. For good. That way you won't be a problem for Sid. Or anyone. No. You wouldn't. No. D don't kill me. It would solve the problem. Wait. If I have to disappear, then let me disappear. I'll vanish underground. I'll never come back to Harbour Town again. I swear on the Holy Flame, mate. Everyone will believe I'm dead, even my family. What do you say? I, I can be gone in seconds. Do you know a way out of Harbour Town? I'll find one. I I'll jump the wall if I have to. Right. I'll tell Sid you've vanished, but if I ever see you here again, you're a dead man. Thank you. I, I swear I'm gone forever. I found your spy. It's Doyle. The idiot. I thought he was better than that. Doyle has gone. Forever, I hope. What did you do with him? You really want to know? Nah. You dealt with it. That's enough for me. Let's forget him and talk business. Looks like I saved your skin. True. I'd be on the run right now. So, how will you repay me? Scordo knows you helped me. That's reward enough. I can teach you a couple of tricks. If you want to learn how to sneak or open a lock with a piece of wire, I'm your man. And if you need lock picks, I can get them for you as well. Who's Scordo? I'm gonna trust you with this. He's the Don's head man in Harbour Town. Your paths will cross soon enough. Don't worry. Do you have a job for me? Yeah. Now we're in the clear, it's time to teach the Order a lesson. They sorely need it. I mean, they steal cattle from the farms and ration our food. The world's in turmoil, and they impose their rules. And? And people like Dargle the Butcher just do what the Order says. So it's time to act. We need to show Dargle who can protect him and who can't. Where do I fit in? See Dargle and remind him that Don Esteban has a long reach. I want to be a better thief. Leave everything alone. I need some lockpicks. What say we negotiate a little? I need a few lockpicks. What do you want? I don't like you being in here. I found Sid's spy. And Sid ordered him to do it, right? Yes, it was Doyle, one of the day laborers. He's scared to death and does not want to go back to the monastery. Found anything new on the burglaries? Doyle has disappeared. What? Sid got rid of his accomplice? That's terrible news. Now we don't have anything we can use against him. There's no choice now. You're going to have to keep an eye on Sid himself. From what I hear, Harbour Town's dangerous. You should think about protection. The warriors of the Order give me all the protection I need. They can't be everywhere. You just have to see the crime in this town to see that. Oh, I get it. You're from the Don's men, here to lean on me. You thought, ah, the Butcher, he'll be a soft touch. To 
too risky. So, do things have to get nasty? Ha! Hurt me, he says. Come on, you want to fight? Yeah! Ah! Yes. Keep your hands where I can see them. You're hurting now. Agree to protection from Sid, and it'll never happen again. I'll mend. This doesn't change anything. I'm not paying you. Not now, not ever. Now sling your hook. What do you want? I do not wish to be bothered right now. Well, you look like you've got deep pockets. And there's no better place to dig into them than Madame Sonia's House of Pleasure. We've got something to suit all tastes. And the girls there are talented, flexible, and lice-free. Good to know. I didn't expect to find a beauty like you in this town. I'm surprised the Order hasn't put a guard on you. Ah, oh, aren't you the silver-tongued one? You know how to talk, don't you? You won't find another like me on this blessed island. Come back to me, won't you? And bring more than compliments. It's very simple, sweetie. You want something, you pay for it. And there's no discount for Rugged and Handsome here. What can you offer me? You are in the finest brothel in town. If you can't find it here, it's not worth having. Do you also sell information? If you have the gold, I have the knowing. Give me ten gold coins, then ask your question. If I can answer it, sweetie, then I will. And if I can't, then I still keep the gold. How does that deal work for me? Believe me, there's little that goes on round here that doesn't come through my doors sooner or later. Comforting to know. But no risk, no fun. Right? I do need information. I'm all ears. Tell me something about Don Esteban's gang. That doesn't sound like a question to me. Give me something to work with, sweetie. Here's your gold back. Let's try again, shall we? Okay. So how strong is the Don's influence in this town? It's not what it used to be, that's for sure. Not since the Inquisition pushed them out into the swamps. Most of the Don's men won't risk coming back either, even for one of my girls. I'm sure Esteban will strike back, though. He's too proud not to. What exactly does the Inquisition want with Harbour Town? 
They're after the gold artifacts. Crazy for them, they are. No idea what they do with them. All I know is everything they gather, they take up to the monastery. Why are there so many golden artifacts in this town? They've been mostly brought in by the farmers. The artifacts turned up at the same time as those ruins. They just popped up, practically overnight. But you can't eat gold, so most artifacts have been traded. Until the Inquisition claimed that all artifacts must be handed over to them, without any compensation. They came down hard on artifact smugglers too. Most got thrown into the monastery, if they were lucky. Who are the influential people? Who should I know? <laughs> well, there are plenty who think they are. You can't move for loudmouths and big heads round here. But the only one who really pulls the strings is Commandant Carlos. Most of the time he's in the guardhouse above the merchant quarter. You could do a lot worse than allying with his fighters, that's for sure. Is there anyone here who can teach me some skills? Well, all my girls are very talented. Oh, you mean combat. I think Cole up in the gutters is a hunter. He'll know about bows. I can't think of anyone else. So who does smuggle artifacts here in the town? Sorry, sweetie, that one's too hot for me to handle. All I can tell you is that Esteban seems as obsessed with the artifacts as the Inquisitor is. And there are spies everywhere, on both sides. So I won't get myself burned with a question like that. Ask me again when the dust has settled in this place. So if I was a customer, who would you recommend to me? Olga's over there. She's a lovely girl. Very friendly and extremely flexible. And behave yourself, understand? I don't want to hear any complaints. Tell me about you. How's business? The Inquisition don't care about maintaining order in a brothel. So they turn a blind eye when our clients reach a new level of disgusting. Just take a look at that bastard over there. His name's Ericsson. Drinks all day and hits my girls. My regular guards left town and Ericsson won't listen to me. Dirty scum. Just ask my girl Gwen what kind of a monster he is. With the Inquisition ignoring us, there can be no justice for a place like this. We're stuck at the mercy of bastards like Ericsson. What's your problem? Had a few, have you? Weird. You're missing the tits, so you can't be me mother. Do us both a favor and go screw yourself. You belong to Captain Romanov's crew. Snooping like a spy? Now asking questions? Whoever you are, I'm gonna kick your skull straight out of your stupid head. So, I've got a couple of questions. Have you? Well, I'm not talking to anyone I don't know. So go and piss in someone else's ear. I hear Romanov won't let you sail with him again. What do you know? I'm one of Romanov's best men. He sails, I sail. You're gonna tell me what I need to know. Come on, let's get this done. Time to fight! What do you want? Tell me about the key you had on you. If I tell you who that belongs to, I'd be digging my own grave. Now leave me alone. Do you know where Captain Steelbeard's shack is? You don't know what you're getting into. If you keep on like this, you're a dead man walking. You're gonna tell me where Steelbeard's shack is. You're gonna tell me now. All right, all right. In the gutters. It's in the gutters. It's one of those shacks near Costa's hotel. Now that's it. I've said enough. Too much. And that key you had fits the front door. I've said too much.
Just leave me alone. I'm not even here, all right? What's the matter? It's that drunken pig, Ericsson. He sits on that bench all day, eyeing me up, licking his lips, making his hand gestures. It's so creepy. And then I find out he paid Madame Sonia for me. I refused to go with him, and he beat me, bastard. Ericsson got what he deserved. Yeah, I saw you gave him quite the beating. Glad in my heart it did, but it ain't enough. In a few days he'll be back on that bench again, staring, licking, gesturing. I'll have a word with him. Would you spit in his face while you're at it? <laughs> I've got a message for you. Leave now if you know what's good for you. And if you even look at the girls here again, you'll regret it. Oh, lover, are you? Or save your effort. I was gonna go anyway. Stay here long enough, you'll catch the pox. Then maybe you already have. Good job, sweetie. That bastard Ericsson had it coming. That drunk Ericsson has taken off. That's a weight off my mind and no mistake. I think that warrants a reward. I don't think Ericsson will show his face here again. That's a relief and a half, I tell you. You're a good man. Here's that gold I promised. Don't worry. I'll earn it back soon enough. I've got a few specialist tricks. Take care of yourself, all right? Thanks. You too. I'm not listening. I can tell you're hungry for the kind of adventure that only Olga can bring. I see things. I know things. It's just Madame Sonia and a few gold coins stand in your way. I paid Sonia for your services. I understand what a man wants. You're an explorer, am I right? An adventurer. Come conquer my continents, lover. Mm. Did I take you to a few places you've not seen before? Yeah, you could say that. I wonder why I haven't seen you before. I see many things. Things that are unseen by most. I'm psychic. I haven't been here long. And you don't plan on staying long, right? No. I have business to take care of. Pity. But something tells me you will prove important to this place. So let me give you something for the hard road ahead. If you have upset another and they will not speak to you, then this scroll will soothe them. It contains a powerful spell. So use it wisely. Thank you, Olga. I wish you luck on your continued adventures. I feel you may need a great deal of it. Don't you have some place to be? Don't just stand around. Be off with you. Don't bother me. Well, my lad, what can old Jack do for you? You're Jack. That I am. Jack the sailor, then Jack the lighthouse keeper, now Jack the old beachcomber. Seems the sea won't let me go. So you're no longer the lighthouse keeper? Was, my boy, was. The tower's not in use, nor am I. No more ships going out, you see. The storms put pay to the ships, and the town's short of fuel. No use burning things when there are no ships to see it, eh? You uh, wouldn't have a tot of rum to ease my aches, would you? Here, have a little rum. Spend too long by the sea and it rots you. Your knees go, your back. Your front, your everything. Everything falls apart. Towers, men, religions. The sea always wins. Remember that, lad. Let's trade.
Let's trade. So, there are still new folks turning up here, eh? Well, watch yourself around the Inquisition. What do you mean? I mean, careful where you step, or you'll be up to your eyes in shit before you know it. They're crazy types, you know. Worshipping a flame. What should I know about Harbour Town? New, eh? Just watch your step. You never know who's throwing their weight about from one day to the next. And mind that harbour warehouse. Go near it, and people think you're stealing from there. Let's just say it makes the Inquisition twitchy. What do you mean, twitchy? Legal system here is simple but effective. Steal something, we beat the crap out of you. Hurt our citizens, kill our animals, we beat the crap out of you. And if you kill someone... You beat the crap out of me? Exactly. And then we kill you. Anything else I should know? There's still plenty of trouble you can cause folks, without us making with the beatings. Of course, people probably won't talk to you after. So how do I avoid the silent treatment? Don't cause trouble in the first place. What if trouble just... happens? Then that sort of happens to be your problem. There must be a way to soothe trouble over. Hmm. Apparently the mages know a spell. A joke spell. A jest spell. Seriously? Yeah. Supposed to make a person feel like they've just been told the best joke in the world. And how does that help? And they forget whatever was troubling them. Where can I get this spell? A mage, maybe. Plenty in the monastery. Bunch of backstabbing betrayers, the lot of them allying with the Inquisition. Could be one knocking around town somewhere. Who are you? I'm Edgar. Head of the town guard, or at least I was. Until the Inquisition took over and pushed Esteban out. I wasn't his biggest supporter, I admit. But at least he was local. You must be a trained fighter. I swear by the sword and the crossbow. Sword for when they're close, and crossbow if they try and run. Can you train me? Train you? Sure, it'll give me something to do. But I can't be letting you have my skills for free. Why don't you train the recruits? Let's say that me and the Inquisition don't see eye to eye on the law. I see it as flexible. Why arrest every piddly little criminal? But the Inquisition don't turn a blind eye to anything. So they got one of my former guards, Arik, to oversee the recruits. He's a master and treats them decent, too. Although he seems a little preoccupied lately. Teach me some combat skills.
No. I'm not giving you anything. Do I look like I want something? Everyone wants something. Money, usually. You're one of the Don's men. Nothing gets past you, does it? So, what's going on here? Not much. Can't do anything while those scum-sucking white-robed bastards won't let me out of their sight. Why are the white robes watching you? Well, because they know I hate them. And they think I'm a thief. And are you? Of course not. I even used to offer protection to the merchants. And get paid for it. That's how business works. And now, now, Carlos is just waiting for me to give him a reason to banish me from the town. But I won't give him the chance. What do you know about Commandant Carlos? Warrior of the Inquisition. A slimy, filthy bog slug who happens to be the new lord of the town. He and his guards represent the law, but they behave like there are no laws at all. May they drown in the fifth hell. I could help you. How? Let me join you. I'll work for you. Why? Why should I even trust you? This town's full of spies and collaborators. I've already worked for Delgado, collecting protection money. Protection money? So, you already have some experience? I could work for you. This here is the Fat Cat's quarter. You don't just go from door to door collecting protection money. Those white robe bastards are everywhere, and they see everything. So how does it work here? Before I show you the tricks, you'll have to do something else for me. What is it you want me to do? Don Esteban controls most of the Bruegel on the island. Leonardo, the alchemist, he processes the harvest. Then Garth, the alchemist's assistant, brings it to us. But recently, some of the goods have gone missing. So, somebody's taking it. Do you suspect anyone? Garth. I think Garth's behind it. Why don't you punish him? I can't risk those infernal white robes finding out. And even though Garth is a coward, I don't know if a beating will make him talk. How does the Bruegelweed get into the town? You don't need to know that. What if the goods are disappearing on their way in? No. When Leonardo gets the goods, they're complete. What do you want me to investigate? Garth is too stupid to do this on his own. Somebody's paying him. You follow Garth when he delivers the weed packages. And when he meets his partner, you grab both of them. You want me to do that alone? I'd gladly break their ratty bones with you, but the white robe pigs won't let me out of their sight. What do I get if I bring you the packages? Money. It's always about money. Bring me what I want, and I'll show you how we separate rich merchants from their property. Is that all? We'd be prepared to trust you more as well. That guard, Marcelo, is determined to nail me. He mustn't get the packages. The pig botherer. What would happen if Marcelo got the packages? The stinking brute would hound me for all eternity. Everyone in the town knows we control the weed trade. And with the packages as evidence, Marcelo would be on me like swamp fly. Not a pretty thought. That's why you have to find the packages and give them to me. I'll follow Garth. Good. Garth works across from here in the alchemist's house. Stand next to me or behind me so he doesn't notice you right away. He's a nervous sort. I'm ready to follow Garth. Garth's leaving. Give him a bit of a head start, then follow him. Keep your distance, but don't let him out of your sight. If anything goes wrong, come back. Got it?
Hey, sweetheart. How about I make a real man of you? Once you get some lily loving, you'll never look back. How much will that cost me? Oh, when I'm finished with you, you'll feel like bathing me in gold. But a couple of gold coins will do for starters. Good. Let's go. Then follow me. Let's set you a course for heaven. Come on. Well, here we are. So, here we are. You just relax and get yourself comfortable and let me work my magic. Well now, can't you rock the boat better than any storm? Right. Any time you want to set my sails, you know where to find me. Yep. Don't be a stranger. Your girl Lily is working for herself. What? How do you know that? I just do. The little witch. I'll soon set her straight. From now on, if you want one of my girls, you pay me. Got it? There's plenty of others with gossip. Try them. I lost Garth. Well, that's a screw-up. So what can I do now? Right. Think. We haven't lost yet. Garth will still meet with his partner. You have to find him. Where should I look? Probably somewhere in the gutters. In a house, in a hideout. Look for him in the gutters. You sell potions? I do indeed. Quality product, quality potions. Everybody buys from Leonardo, except for those tight wads who go to bed with every little injury. Their pain is not my gain. So, you do business with the Don? What makes you say that? That's not important. What's important is that I know. I process a few plants. No harm in that. I don't want to cause you any trouble. No, no. Trouble isn't profitable. Take this, in case you had any trouble. And if you need more, I'm sure we can make a deal. How's business? Can't complain. Everyone wants to feel healthy, eh? You won't find many people who'll sell your potions in this town. And you can't leave the town. But I'm running out of supplies. When they're gone, they're gone. What supplies do you need? Healing plants, healing roots, and healing herbs. Pretty much the ingredients you need for a healing potion. What would you pay if I got you those supplies? I can't pay gold. No, no. I need every coin. But I can trade you a potion for plants. It'd have to be a good potion. I'll make it a life energy potion, right? Make you tough and resistant. And don't try coming with any old ripped up weeds. I know what I need. How many plants do you need? Ten healing herbs, five plants, and two roots would do. I'll see what I can find. Good. And while you're here, I'm open for business, if you want to buy. Garth stole some of the Don's goods. What? Garth? I warned him about tangling with the Don. I assume you've taken care of things. Here, take a healing potion. A thanks for smoothing this over. I have the plants you want. Excellent. Pleasure doing business. Here's the potion I promised. What potions do you have? Your goods are much too expensive. 
I know, but what can I do? Acquiring the goods is also very expensive. If I don't pass that on in my prices, I'll soon be ruined. My suppliers, they make their money, so why can't I? 